So the HBLB Handicap Chase is next in. This is a 0-140. We've got 10 this time. And the top one is Caribbean Escapade for Paul O'Neill. Serafina Cerise for him's native Apache for Graham Clutterbuck. Cry to me. Daniel French. Astro Gold. Craig Beckwith. Plainly Dangerous. Martin Lidham. Solway de la Mer. Alex Cherry. Better Ass Battle. Ryan Costello. Cashmere Coat. Paul Rhodes. And Deacon Blues for Derek Hinton. Uh, 10 of them then. 0 to 140 handicap chase at Sandown Park. Uh, called in, and away they go with Soy de la Mer, the first one to show. And uh, being driven along straight away to claim a good lead. That's the shenanigans with the camera work. That was again there, and wait for it to settle down. And Soy de la Mer is the leader from Better Ass Battle, about four lengths back in second. And Caribbean Escape after that one with the pink jacketed Deacon Blues on the outside just about fourth with Cashmere Coat and Serafina Cerise and Cry to Me on the inside looking towards the back Plainly Dangerous just a back marker as they finally get to the first and they're all safely over it although Plainly Dangerous and Astro Gold were a bit slow at the back they're over the second now these are the there's two taken there they'll be racing down towards Railway fences soon, they've got a ditch to take first. And they get over that one. And Sway de la Mer is clear. Well, a good four or five lengths. So better ass battle in second. Serafina Cerise is third. Cry to me is fourth. And a native Apache and Caribbean escape as they take that plain one. Also, I feel that's the first of the railway fences, of course. There's a the second. Difficult for the camera to get everybody in. And they get over it. And they're all safely over the railways and race down towards the pond next then. And Solway de la Mer is clear by four or five. Two better ass battle in second. Then Cry to Me is third. Serafina Cerise in the green jacket, fourth. Then Native Apaches after that one. Deacon Blues in the pink on the rail. Then Plainly Dangerous has got a little bit closer. Then Caribbean Escape and Astro Gold and Cashmere Coat is the current back marker. And it's Solway de la Mer. Undisputed lead of about four. There's the pond. And there's the pond fence. And over it they go. Solway de la Mer clear. The field all still on their feet. Solway de la Mer leads. Better us battle in second. Cry to me third. Serafina Cerise fourth. All just pretty much. In the same throughout, that'll be the second last on the next circuit. And that one will be the last, although it should be. Oh, he's gone! There's a fall there. Native Apache's gone. That one will be the last next time round. In reality, it should be a double fence with a plane on one side and a ditch on the other. Well, I'll take it as a ditch today. And the final fence, and Solway de la Mer is the leader. Passing the winning post then with a complete circuit of sand down to go and Solway de la Mer is in front. Betras Battle is second and Cry to Me is third. Serafina Cerise is four and Deacon Blues is five. Then Plainly Dangerous is six. Astro Gold is seven and then Caribbean Escape. And finally Cashmere Coat. As they race over that little path and swing right handed. Solway de la Mer has yet to be headed. Cry to me is getting closer in second. Better ass battle is still there in third. The order's pretty much the same there. As it has been for a while. With Caribbean Escape and Cashmere Coach dropped a little bit out of shot. But it's Solway de la Mer who's in front. The lead down to about two and a half now. Cry to me second. Better ass battle third. Serafina Cerise fourth. And Deacon Blues plainly dangerous and Astro Gold, the other two just trying to poke the head in the shot there as they finally make their way towards the next fence. And the leader made a real mistake there, really bad mistake, and he's almost surrendered the lead as he gets down to the second on this, of that double there, and Solway de la Mer is the leader. Cry to me is in second. Better ass battle is third, Deacon Blues is fourth, this is the ditch. Where well, that one they go, and they're all safely over that one, Cashmere Coat getting a little bit closer at the back as Caribbean Escape is dropping out of it but it's Solway de la Mer and Cry to Me then as they come down towards this next fence they're about two clear of Better Ass Battle who's third 
Play one mistake there by Cry to me this time. And the leader again stood off that third railway fence and very nearly paid the price. And they've suddenly only got three more to jump. And Solway to the mare is in the lead. But look at this round the outside. Serafina Cerise is swooping into second and looks to be going really well. It's Solway to the mare in the lead by two lengths to Serafina Cerise in second. Cry to me is third. Plainly dangerous is trying to get into it. So is better us battle and Deacon Blues. They're racing up the straight now. They've just got the pond and then two more fences to take. And it's Solway to the mare in the lead. Solway to the mare from Serafina Cerise. Cry to me, plainly dangerous, back in fourth. Then better us battle and Deacon Blues trying to run Astro Gold. That's the pond fence, another mistake by the leader. So I went to the mare, see him drop back to third and Cry to me's gone on. It's Cry to me coming down towards the final two fences then now. Two furlongs still to race and Cry to me has kicked three lengths clear of Serafina Cerise in second. So I went to the mare trying to fight back. Then plainly dangerous, it's surely between these over the second as they go. And Cry to me is four clear, looking like he's only going to jump the last to win this one. Cry to me races up towards the final fence, pops over it nicely gets away from it well and this is going to be another one for the man of many colours I think because it's Daniel French again well clear six seven eight lengths probably racing up towards the line it's quite amazing going to take it plainly dangerous as well from the back but he's just probably going to get caught by Deacon Blues for second but plainly dangerous third center finish reads fourth then Astro Gold long time leader somewhere to the mare was next then better ass battle Cashmere Coat and finally the last horse was the Caribbean native and it's a win for cry to me i think that's daniel french the man of many colors it is indeed and won that one really well deacon blue second for Derek hinton plainly dangerous was third for martin Liam. seraphina cerise for hymns was fourth and astro gold for craig beckwith was fifth